Hello, and welcome to a Hereford Elementary first grade flipped classroom video. We've been learning that addition means putting groups together. We usually start with two small groups, and then in addition, we put the groups together to make one large group and count all of them, just like this. We're starting with three cats eating food. That's one small group. And here's another small group of four cats eating food. In addition, we put the two small groups together and we count them all in the one large group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven cats eating in all. Tomorrow, we are going to start writing number sentences to match our addition stories. When we write a number sentence, we need to use some special symbols you've probably seen before. Here's a plus sign. We use a plus sign to add the groups together. Here's an equal sign. We use the equal sign to show that both sides of the number sentence are the same. Let's look at how to write a number sentence for the addition story and picture that we just looked at. In our story, we started with three cats eating. So when we write a number sentence, we're going to start with that first small group, which the number was three. Then we had four more cats eating. So in addition, when we're adding those groups together, we need to use a plus sign. So we had three cats plus four more cats. Then we use an equal sign. Remember, the equal sign tells us that whatever is on this side of the equal sign needs to be the same on the other side of the equal sign. So 3 plus 4, that's my 3 cats, plus 4 cats. To find out the answer, I have to count my whole group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 cats in all. So your number sentence looks like this. 3 plus 4 equals 7. When we add small groups together, the answer is called the sum. So 7 is our sum. And we can't forget to label our answer so we know what we're talking about. 3 plus 4 equals 7 cats. And that's how simple it is to write an addition number sentence. We'll be learning more about this tomorrow in school. Don't forget to look at your homework sheet and write an answer to the question about the video. Bye!